Hey. Today I want to talk about something kind of technical about women's bodies. And I have a personal story from when I was a kid. And I also want to leave you with a super easy and practical tip for how to work with the technical thing that I'm going to explain, <clears throat> which is hip shape. So women typically have either a high hip or a low hip. A high hip is uh, defined as like a hip shelf that's right below the waist and um, the, the, that section of the hip, the upper part of the hip, is going to be wider than the upper thigh. And then obviously the, the opposite, the low hip, is when the widest point of the hip area is at the upper thigh. Both of these shapes are completely normal and there's also variations of them and combinations. Some people might just be straight through the hip or have both a little high hip and a wider low hip. But basically we kind of look and see which one of those is more prominent, which is the widest place in the hip area. And it's going to help um, with things like what type of jeans do you buy? Some people need their jeans to be wider at the high hip and have a very narrow thigh and others need more the curvy cut where it's narrower as it goes towards the waist but has more space in the thigh. They're both normal. I remember when I was a little kid, I was maybe second grade or something like that, and we went to um, ballet and gymnastics and I remember the gymnastics teacher pointing out to my mom how I had a little bit of extra padding at the upper thigh. And so therefore I wasn't gonna probably be a good gymnast. Um, and so I always thought that meant there was kind of something wrong with me. I always thought that having that low thigh was a problem. It's a completely normal body thing for women. Many, many women are shaped like that. Uh, yeah. So that's my story. And I just, the practical tip that I want to give you on how to work with this is, this is super, super simple. Um, you want to end your top or your jacket at the opposite. So if you have a high hip, you want to end your top or your jacket at your low hip. If you have a low hip, you want to end your top or your jacket at your high hip. The reason this works is because you're putting a horizontal line at your narrower place. And it's just that simple. You never really want to put a horizontal line at something that's, that you don't want to draw attention to. So um, anyway, that's what I want to share today. Getting dressed is a form of artistic expression. So there's lots of other ways that you can also work with these technical uh, bits about your body type. Getting dressed is also a science. So to get started with building a wardrobe based on your own style DNA, you can grab my free guide, The Wardrobe Pyramid, and I'll link that below. Have a great day.